They commit war crimes, but more than everything, they are afraid of getting caught. They are so afraid that they even created a new language to talk about the war Russia began against Ukraine. Here are some useful tips on how to read and listen to the new Russian language. 2-3 days special military operation The two-month war Successful No, it's not. Denazification, demilitarization. Killing civilians, bombing residential districts, stealing toilets, underwear and laptops. Everything is not so straightforward. The Russian is going to lie. What about... The Russian is still lying. Ukrainian propaganda. The lying Russian is offended when nobody believes him. Azov Voldemort Everything goes according to plan. Absolutely no clue what is going on. No losses. Killed and wounded Russian occupiers. Today there are more than 23,000 no losses. Claps. Explosions on the oil and military bases in Russia. There are regular claps lately in Kursk, Bransk and Belgorod regions. Extended smoke. Uncontrolled forest fires in Russia that no one can fight because everyone went to loot in Ukraine. Landscape fires. This is a new one. Not to scare Russians, local media started calling forest fires landscape fires. It's modern and neutrally presented. Tactical regrouping. Runaway comrades. Weapons that don't have analogs. Old Soviet weapons in dangerous conditions and enormous quantities. Reverse surfacing. Last maneuver of the Russian battleship Moskva. Third World War. Battles near Chernobyevka village, where Russian paratroopers, air forces and headquarters were destroyed 17 times in a row. Whoops! <laughs> no, 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 no! <laughs> so, overall summary of three days Russian military operation would be like that. Demilitarization is successful, no losses, especially in Third World War, the army is tactically regrouping because of the collapse. Battleships are doing reverse surfacing covered by extended smoke from landscape fires.